When Sophia was a teenager, doctors told her that her acne and her unpredictable periods were normal for her age. When she started to gain weight around her midsection in her 20s, her primary care physician suggested she try to get more exercise. It wasn't until she was 35 and trying to have kids mm. that she learned that the acne, irregular periods, and weight gain had actually been symptoms of polycystic ovary syndrome, or PCOS. What is PCOS? PCOS is a reproductive condition in which a woman has an imbalance of hormones. Those hormones, such as estrogen, progesterone, and testosterone, play many roles in the body's development and function from guiding puberty and sex drive to producing red blood cells and managing your moods. One important role is controlling ovulation, the process by which a woman's ovaries release an egg each month. Typically, an egg is released from a fluid-filled sac in a woman's ovary each month and travels to her uterus. If it is not fertilized, she sheds her uterine lining and the egg itself during her period. The cysts that some women with PCOS have on their ovaries are actually fluid-filled sacs that each contain an egg. Several eggs prepare for release each month. Then when one is actually released, the others will start to dissolve. The hormonal imbalance in PCOS prevents the eggs from fully maturing, so none of them gets released to the uterus. The other eggs don't dissolve. The fluid-filled sacs that contain the immature eggs collect on the ovaries and look like cysts. PCOS is the most common cause of infertility and can raise your risk for problems during a pregnancy like preeclampsia and gestational diabetes. But PCOS impacts women in many ways outside of pregnancy as well. Most women start to see symptoms during puberty or adolescence, though many, like Sophia, aren't diagnosed until years later. Around 10% of women have PCOS, but researchers are still learning about the condition. They know that most women with PCOS have high levels of androgens, or hormones more commonly associated with male development, such as testosterone in their blood, along with irregular fluctuations in several other hormones, such as luteinizing hormone and follicle-stimulating hormone. Those changes are what prevent their ovaries from releasing an egg, or ovulating each month before their period. When they don't ovulate, they may not get their periods at all. Irregular periods are one of the first signs of PCOS. Other symptoms include excess hair on the face and body in areas where men typically grow hair, like the chin and back, acne that continues into adulthood, insulin resistance, which doesn't cause many symptoms but can lead to weight gain, patches of darkened skin, and diabetes. The symptoms often vary from woman to woman, and there are many other symptoms that are not well understood, such as insomnia. Scientists don't yet know what causes PCOS, but both your genes and environment seem to play a role. About 25% of women with PCOS have moms with the condition. Some research has found that exposure to chemicals in the environment, such as per and polyfluorochil substances, known as PFAS, which come from factories and products like plastic water bottles, can increase the chances of getting PCOS. Women like Sophia are also at a heightened risk of developing these conditions because of PCOS. Endometrial cancer, diabetes, anxiety, depression, and other mental illness, obesity, sleep apnea, heart conditions, thyroid problems. You can treat PCOS in several ways. Whether you're prescribed medication, which kinds will depend mm. on your symptoms and your goals, because PCOS can look so different in different people. Tracking your symptoms over time may help you and your provider customize a plan that addresses your concerns. Diet and mm. exercise can be a powerful combination when managing weight, insulin resistance, mental health conditions, heart problems, and other symptoms and risks of PCOS. Since simple carbohydrates like white pasta and potatoes can add to insulin resistance, experts may recommend a low-carb diet for women with PCOS. Some studies show women with PCOS have chronic inflammation. For these women, the anti-inflammatory diet may help dampen symptoms. Your provider will also probably suggest that you exercise for at least 30 minutes daily, five days a week if possible. For many women, diet and exercise can lower the risk of PCOS and manage most symptoms. It can even help stave off complications like cancer and depression. Had she been diagnosed prior to trying to get pregnant, Sophia's doctor may have recommended she try taking hormonal birth control pills.
These lower androgen levels throughout your body can help with symptoms like acne and facial hair. They also help you menstruate more regularly, lowering your risk of endometrial cancer. Birth control pills can come with many side effects such as bleeding outside of the week you're supposed to get your period, migraines, nausea, breast tenderness, blood clots, mood changes, or depression. In many cases, individuals may try a few different brands with different levels of hormones to find the one that works best for them with the fewest side effects. Another common option for medicinal treatment is androgen blockers like spironolactone. Androgen blockers stop hormones like testosterone from affecting you and can be helpful for those with facial hair and acne. Spironolactone is a diuretic, meaning it makes you urinate more. It's often prescribed for heart failure. When taking it, you need to pay attention to signs of dehydration, such as dizziness and fatigue. Other side effects might include cramps, breast pain, high potassium levels, or low sodium levels, both of which can lead to heart rhythm problems. Sophia was trying to get pregnant, and her doctor saw signs of insulin resistance, so her doctor suggested metformin, an old diabetes drug that can help with insulin resistance, weight, and other PCOS symptoms. It might help her start ovulating more regularly. Metformin can cause side effects such as gastrointestinal distress, nausea, diarrhea, flatulence, bloating, vitamin B deficiency, metallic taste in the mouth. As Sophia tries to get pregnant, if she's not ovulating regularly on metformin, her provider may recommend drugs to make her ovulate, such as clomiphene, letrozole, and gonadotropins, in addition to metformin. These drugs can cause multiple births, nausea and diarrhea, hot flashes. Whether you take medicine or not, paying attention to your mental health with PCOS is important. In addition to maintaining a healthy diet and regular physical activity, make sure you take time to distress by doing activities you enjoy, like journaling, drawing, or reading. PCOS is a lifelong condition, and we're still learning about all it does. There's no known cure for PCOS, but you can manage it with diet, exercise, and medicine. Med Shadow helps protect our health, our family, and ourselves from medical harm, including the side effects of medications by providing informative videos like this. Like, share, and subscribe for more health videos. Learn more about symptoms, conditions, and side effects at medshadow.org.